resident gas heads are in pole position, they need a rig to test. What we're going to do is put the wheels, uh, or the actual car, on the belt sander and run it at that speed to see how fast we can go before the wheels break. How's it working? The build team are not fast enough. Why don't we rig up something else? Like we could do something with a uh, with a grinder that's thirty thousand RPM. Why don't we just Why don't we just jack up a car? Jack up a car. Attach the wheels to the actual car wheel, and then just floor it. Under a mile, you think they'd hold up? I think the myth is looking pretty good. I know these cars can pick up some good speed going downhill, and you know if the tires are willing to hold up, pretty much the wind resistance is the only factor that might slow it down. The build team needs a wind tunnel. Scott, hot pink. So how are we going to test whether or not yawning is contagious? Well, first we need a test audience. We're going to have to isolate them and be able to watch them with hidden cameras. And we're going to have to be able to control this. Let's say it's a room. We build a room. We're going to have to plant a yawning seed in, in the room as well. Right. That's Ooh. good. OK. Our test subjects are here. We're about to bring them in. Please just sit quietly and read it. Guinea pigs and too many stimuli. I, I think for all of these things, you need a bigger sample, you need a longer test. I think definitely. Like and they don't, and they I, can't know that, we, that we're right. doing this. You can't know that you're doing a test, and really, you have to leave them alone in waiting. the room. Yes, just you waiting. You have to just leave yeah. them alone in the room. Sit there and wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah. begins at Yawn Central. OK, here it comes. Three, two, one. It's the longest toy. It stopped. <laughs> Fingers are crossed. A quick team talk and a tough decision is made. It must be radically scaled down. <laughs> That's 22 miles per. Okay, watch your fingers and limbs because it's going to fly. Well, he got, you know, kind of ambitious with his lead approach and uh, figured he was going to wipe everybody out. I thought so too. Okay, three, two, one. I think the toy car is just going to smoke the Viper. Under gravity only. You ready? It was neck and neck right. It's Geppetto's turn when Toast drops off a roof. You're up, up. Up. Butter up. 17 drops. The butter has landed up 12 times. One. But it's a small price to pay for his scientific discovery. On the dry toast, the X landed up 26 times out of 48. On the buttered toast, the butter side landed up 29 times. Thing from up there. So I, I guess the thing is.